Hello and welcome. In today's video, I will show you the improvements on the upgraded chart trader panel in Atas. I will be talking about how to set stop loss and take profit straight from the chart and from the chart trader panel. How to set up automatic stop loss shift on break even. How to set trailing profit and how to place multiple stop losses and take profits for sequential profit taking. Proper use of stop loss and take profit is absolutely essential for profitable trading. The changes we have prepared for you at Atas can significantly improve your results. So let's get started. If you open a position in Atas, you will see the SL and TP markers next to it. The easiest way to set up stop loss and take profit is simply grab the marker with your mouse and move it to the desired level. Of course, you can move the marker elsewhere at any time. Again, just click and drag the marker to another desired location. You can cancel the order completely by clicking at the X symbol. It's important to emphasize what the disadvantage of this method is. In very volatile markets, the price can move so fast that it will fly through your stop loss or take profit before you move it on the chart with your mouse. Therefore, we recommend this method more for fine-tuning your waiting orders. Taking care about the capital is the most important task of a profitable trader. You can place stop loss and profit in a slightly different way. Now we will use the chart trader panel. You can either click here in the bottom right corner at chart trader or you will simply press the key T on your keyboard. Before opening a position, make sure you have selected the correct account you plan to trade. Here you can set at what levels you will place your stop loss and take profit in advance. In this window, you can set whether you want to enter the levels in ticks, in percentages or at a specific price. You will then enter the appropriate value here. I will keep the stop loss in ticks and set the value to 15. And I enter the take profit at a price, for example, at this swing high, which is 5098. Remember to activate both orders using these switches. To make the order functional, you need to click at apply button each time. It's essential, otherwise you cannot expect stop loss and take profit work properly. You can tell that everything is set up correctly when these switches are blue and there are no apply or undo button at the bottom of this window. Now when you open a position by clicking buy market, the pending orders on the chart will immediately appear at the stop loss and take profit levels. There is virtually no way that your position stays unprotected. With this method of placing stop loss and take profit, both settings remain active even after you close the position manually or when the position is closed after a profit or stop loss is reached. I am closing the position manually and as you can see, both stop loss and take profits are still active. However, keep in mind that the settings disappear if you open the position first and only then set pending orders via the SLTP panel. So I'm switching both orders off, clicking at apply button. Now I'm opening the position and setting stop loss and take profit levels additionally. Stop loss can be 15 ticks and target can remain the same. So I'm clicking apply and both orders were placed at the chart. Now I'm closing the position and as you can see, stop loss and take profit disappeared. We have set the system this way because in the first case, you were deciding where to place the stop loss and target profit before you open the position. Whereas in the second case, you place the stop loss and take profit on the fly, spontaneously or particularly for this one trade. Some users prefer not to see the dollar value of the continuous profit or loss on the chart. So simply click this box 
to rotate between displaying P and L in dollars, percentages, ticks, and when to turn the value off completely. Then you will only see the size of the open position, which is in my case one contract long. Some traders like to have their stop loss automatically move to or above the entry when the price moves in their expected direction. This break even function is designed for them. As you can see in the basic settings, this function displays the figure 51T. This means that when the price gets 5 ticks above the entry level, the stop loss moves 1 tick above the entry. If you click on this blue figure, a window will open in which you can edit these values. In the breakeven box, I enter 10 ticks and in the offset box, I enter 3 ticks. This will mean that only when the price gets 10 ticks above my entry, will the stop loss move 3 ticks above it. Again, this function must be activated. I'm setting the target to, let's say, 30 ticks and clicking at apply. When I open the position, we will pay attention to the price. When it gets 10 ticks away from the entry, the stop loss will move. My entry was 5099, so 10 ticks at S&P means 5150. So this is the target. And when the price gets here, the stop loss moves to this level. Another very useful feature is so-called trailing. It's a defensive strategy. You can keep your profit further and further away in case the price moves in the direction you expected it to go. The stop loss will move closer and closer to the current price and you will be able to follow the trend automatically. This way, you can keep the profit increasing when you join big trend. The 510T figure means that the stop loss will move 10 ticks from the initial settings if the price moves in your direction by 5 ticks. Setting individual parameters is the same. Just click on the 510T figure and set the values according to your money management. The stop setting is a trigger, which indicates the distance the price should travel in the desired direction. It's 5 ticks in this case. Only after that, the stop loss will move to, in this case by 10 ticks. I'm keeping the initial settings unchanged and see if the stop loss will move by 10 ticks in the trend direction each time when price will move 5 ticks away from break even. So I'm clicking, in this case, apply again. Trailing should be activated. I'm setting stop loss to 30 ticks and target to 30 ticks as well. Activating it by these with these two switches and clicking at apply and opening the long position. Take a moment to watch exactly how this future works. Pay attention to the fact that if the first value is lower than the second, the stop loss will catch up with the current price and you will be more aggressive in protecting your profit. You will close the position sooner, but at a higher profit if any pullback occurs. On the other hand, if you set the first value higher than the second, the stop loss will move slower than the price development and is more resilient to random pullbacks. It's up to you which option you choose. In any case, the ideal is to aim at higher targets if you engage trailing in your strategy and count on a risk to reward ratio of 3 to 1, 5 to 1 and higher. The price made 5 ticks and the stop loss 10 ticks. I will be waiting again and it's, it just happened. Price has been developing up and the stop loss moved higher. I will wait again and let you see the next movement of the stop loss. And again, the stop loss move higher. Now we come to the most developed way of setting stop loss and take profit. This advanced panel will come in handy if you are opening position larger than one contract, because you can configure closing a position in parts. It is useful if you open a position of, let's say, 
five contracts because then you can manage your position more effectively. You can set the target and stop loss very finely and exit completely calmly, one, two, three or more contracts at a time at multiple levels. Doesn't it sound useful? So I'm opening the position, five contracts, and I'm clicking at this advanced button. In the first column, you will choose which part of the position to close first. I am five contracts long. At the first target, I want to close two contracts. My first take profit will be 20 ticks away. I'm setting here take profit at 20 and I'm keeping here the letter T because 20 is in ticks. My stop loss will be 30 ticks away. So I'm entering here the value 30. The next part of the position, namely two contracts, I want to close after making a profit of 30 ticks and with the same stop loss. So I click on the plus symbol, which will bring up a second line for entering the exact parameters. I'm keeping the quantity to two and leaving the stop loss at 30 ticks as well. Finally, the remaining part of the position, that is one contract, I click on the plus symbol again. I'm changing the quantity to one. Here I want to place the stop loss slightly further, let's say 45 ticks, and the target will be set at the price 5,115. I'm clicking at apply, and as you can see, we have target for two contracts here. We have another target for two contracts here, and the final target, 5,115 for one contract. The stop loss is here for four contracts because it's those two contracts and those two contracts. And the final stop loss for the last one contract is here. And now we will be waiting when the price hit the first target. Pay attention that this level disappears and these four contracts will change to two only. Finally, I have a little tip for you. The fastest way you can enter a limit order is to use the trading from chart future by clicking at this off button. When you activate it, as you move your mouse around the chart, you will see on the left what happens when you click either the right button or the left mouse button at appropriate level. Above the price, clicking the left button will place a sell limit order and clicking the right mouse button will place a buy stop order. So what's the difference between those two order types? The sell limit order is clear. If the price reaches this level, a resistance, a short position is opened. However, buy stop is used by breakout traders. If the price breaks this resistance, they open a long position. They cannot simply enter it as a buy limit because they would enter the long position immediately at the current price, not at this level, which is above the current price. Hence the stop buy. Well, and adequately, it applies if we move the mouse below the current price. Clicking the left mouse button to place a buy limit order and long position at this level. And stop sell to enter short position after breaking through this support. So let's say we want to activate buy stop at this resistance. This turned to buy stop limit order with five contracts because I have still five contracts in the quantity and I will set stop loss and target for this position. I'm going to place the stop loss below this rotation. So I'm measuring the distance with my mouse wheel. This is 35 ticks. I'm setting stop loss to 35 ticks and the target will be 5,112. I'm switching this to price and setting this to 5,112. I'm activating both orders and clicking at apply. Now when the price breaks through this level, five contracts long position will be opened with the stop loss 35 ticks away and target set at 5,112. The use of stop losses and take profits is quintessential part of any money management. Never ever open a position without first deciding where to place the stop loss 
and where to place the target price. It's a fast track to disaster. Follow the well-known rule. Plan the trade, trade the plan. We hope you found our videos engaging and useful. Click like and remember to subscribe to stay updated with our upcoming content. Thank you for watching.